Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game on your Windows computer. Now, the first step is to enable or disable Steam input. Now, for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, and then go to controller tab. Now, over here, you can select disable Steam input. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. If that does not work, you can even try enable Steam input and then check which one is working fine for you. But for many users, disabling Steam input has worked, so you can try this and then check. Next step is to select controller in gameplay settings. So launch the game. Now, once you launch the game, uh, you can go to options and then go to gameplay settings over here. Select gameplay. Now, once you select gameplay over here, you can see input mode. If this is set to mouse and keyboard, you can select your control over here and then you can apply, save, and then you can check. Now, the next step is for Ubisoft Connect user. So, if you have the game on Ubisoft Connect, I have the game on Steam. I don't have the game on Ubisoft Connect. So if you have the game on Ubisoft Connect, in that case, you can install Steam. If you have Steam, you can open Steam. And then at the bottom left over here, you can see add a game option. You can click on add a game and then click on add a non-Steam game and then go to the game installation folder. If you see the game over here, you can select the game from here. If you don't see the game, you can go to the game installation folder. I don't know where is the game maybe Ubisoft, Ubisoft Game Launcher, maybe under games, you will see the game folder and you can select the game exe file. Once the game is added over here, this is just an example. Once the game is added, you can put a check on the game and then click on add selected program. And once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to launch Steam in big picture mode. At the top right here, you can see the big picture mode icon which says enter big picture mode. So you can click on enter big picture mode icon. Once Steam is in big, big picture mode, now you can click on the game and you can launch the game from here and then check. Now the next step is to close the game. So if the game is running, close the game, update your controller using PlayStation accessories or app or xbox accessories app so if you have xbox controller then you can open microsoft store in the search box you can just type in xbox accessories app and then click on xbox accessories app now once xbox accessories app is installed you can open xbox accessories app and then you can connect your controller uh, using the usb cable make sure that you connect your controller using the cable and once the controller is connected. You will see three dots over here. You can click on three dots and then you, if there is any update, you will see update option. Click on update now and then you can click on continue and let the update complete. This process will take some time. And once the update is complete, now you can launch the game and then you can check. Similarly, if you have X, uh, PlayStation controller, in that case, you can use PlayStation accessories app. If you don't have it installed, you can open uh, in Google, you can search for Xbox Accessories app. You can go to PlayStation website and then you can install, download for Windows. You can download it, install it. Once installed, you can launch PlayStation Accessories app. And once it, you launch it, now you can connect your PS PlayStation controller. And once it's connected over here, you will see your controller if there is no update like if there is any update pending you will see update option over here so you can update your controller from here and then you can check now still you are facing the problem the next step is to now playstation controller user can use ds for windows again in google you can just find this software and this has worked for many players so you can install this ds for windows configure it and then you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to uh, the next step is to 
unplug all the external devices. So if you have hotas, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it. Disconnect additional controller. Sometimes we have extra dongle connected, disconnect extra controller. Disconnect arcade stick, disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any kind of virtual controller like Vizoi, you can uninstall it and then restart your computer and then you can launch the game and then check. If nothing is working, the last step is to use wired connection. So connect your controller using the USB cable to the computer. And once you have the wired connection, now you can launch the game and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.